Sometimes she's trying to figure out if she should pay or she should not pay. Hey, if you want to learn how to do that trick, check out last week's video. And if you want to know I did the hologram effect at the beginning of this video, check out this one right here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make animated text effects all within Final Cut Pro with no money and no plugins required. If that's something you're into, I'm going for 50 likes on this video. Subscribe down below and let's get into it now. So the first text effect is the title reveal. And this is how we did it. First, you want to go over to your generators tab, pull down a shapes generator, clip off the extra portion, then head over to the inspector window, unselect the outline, and go up to shape, select rectangle, hit this tab, and then you want to use this the Y scale to bring it down to be a thin line. Once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is take the X axis take it all the way down to zero, go to the beginning of the clip, set a keyframe, let it roll a bit, and when you reach a point where you want it to reveal itself, you can bring the X axis back up. And you've just set your first keyframe. And you know it's set because you see the yellow diamonds are illuminated. So the next thing we do is head over to the Titles tab, bring down our custom title, And I'm going to use the word serenity because this is a good looking shot. It seems serene. Enlarge the text and then choose a font that matches the overall feel that you're going for. Select a shape mask, drop it on the text, bring it down until it masks the word out of the frame. Head down to your transforms tab, click the position keyframe, go back to the beginning of the clip and then let it roll a little bit and as the line appears that you just keyframed, bring the shape mask up so that it matches the line. If you want to change the timing, simply right click the text, click video animations and as you can see you can move the keyframes around to change your timing and your feel. Select your text, hit your position, control, keyframe, and simply move the shape mask over to the direction that you want it to fade off into. Now to make the line disappear, hit the shape layer, select a point where you want it to disappear, set a keyframe, bring the opacity control all the way down to zero so it disappears off the screen around the same time that the word disappears from the screen. And this is your result, serenity. Don't you feel cool and calm and at peace? It's just the look I was going for. The next effect is the spin move or the in and out. It's pretty cool, pretty effective. What you wanna do is grab a basic title, put it on your timeline, make it about five seconds long or however you want it to be, however long you want it to be. Cut off the excess portion and then type in an X or an O or whatever shape you want it to be. Scale it up, change the text to your liking. Hit the transform tool and then scale it down so that it can be perfectly symmetrical. Now what you want to do is hit the Y positioning tool for your anchor and make sure that it comes down on top of that bubble. Now it's perfectly centered and we can check the rotation and make sure it looks good. If not, just adjust it to your liking. Click done. Go to the beginning of the clip. Set a rotation keyframe. Let it roll a bit and then rotate the X. Go to the end of the clip. Set a keyframe. Skip over one frame. Rotate it in the opposite direction and then hit the keyframe button again. You've just created an in and an out keyframe for your X. Right click, show video animations and just as the last example, we can play around with the timing to make it go faster or slower. Grab a basic title, place it on top of the X layer, 
trim it down to your liking and then we're gonna type in spin move you can type in whatever you want I chose spin move because that's what I want to do position it next to the X or under the X wherever you want it's all up to you there's no right or wrong way to do this it's all about creativity grab your draw mask place it on top of the spin move layer and you want to create a small rectangle like this hit your control points on your draw mask roll into the clip a little bit and then just reveal the word by pulling the draw mask out to the right and that is your first effect on this spin move head to the end of the clip set a keyframe roll over one frame and then pull the mask back to the left select the X layer or the bottom layer and this as we did in the last example set the opacity keyframe and this is your result I don't know about you but that is sweet next we have over the edge now this might have been my favorite one because it took me like an hour to figure this out it was challenging but I got it done you bring down a custom 3d text type in the lettering that you type in the word that you want next you want to hit the transform button and set position and scale keyframes roll into the clip a bit scale it all the way up now you want to make sure it's really big because you want it to look like you're flying past it and the only way to do that is to bring it all the way up and then underneath and then position it down out of the frame pretty simple that was really quick we repeat the same process bring down a custom 3d title type in your text and you're gonna hit the transform tool and set keyframes for position scale and rotation this time Now, if you're using this particular clip where you're going over the edge of a mountain, manipulate the clip as it goes over the edge and line it up with the side of the mountain so it looks as if it's sitting on the mountain face. Then what you want to do is set an opacity keyframe so it doesn't just jump in at you. You want it to ease in. Once you've gotten over the side of the cliff, you want to bring the opacity keyframe back up so it eases back into view. And then you do the same thing, scale it up and move it down. When you run through it again, you fly past it. Here's the result. Don't you feel enlightened? Like, I didn't know Final Cut Pro could do all these things until I sat down and tried it out for myself and I thought I had to share it with you guys. If you like this video, you should share it with someone else. You should subscribe, click the bell notifications, give it a thumbs up, and check out the rest of these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.